family being reunited at this moment. Alyssa Hyman has their story. Alyssa. Right, well, Michael, this student just got out of the high school. She's still waiting to see her dad at this point, but you were really where all of this was unfolding. This is Maddie. She's a junior at the high school. Just tell me what you saw. Um, I was, we were coming out of the classroom because we heard a shot, but then the fire drill came on. So we thought, oh, it must be just somebody was moving something heavy. It was like very rapid shots. And then, um, uh, and then when we were walking down the hall, I was waiting with my teacher, Miss Lapel, um, and um, I heard a one shot, and then it hit the wall, and like the the the, um, the wall came down and was like coming on my leg, just like little bits of dust and stuff. And then I ran back into the classroom, and I was so scared that I just immediately opened up one of the closets, and they had shelves inside, so I was hanging on the inside of the shelves at first backwards, but then I was able to turn around and look through the crack um, in the closet, and I saw. Um, somebody run past and then a bunch more gunshots and then somebody run backwards and run uh, more gunshots and then I was so scared and um, eventually after after like about 30 minutes or so I was watching and I saw like I heard people screaming help help me and um, I was really scared and then I saw through the, the window um, a policeman come through with lasers and the spice SWAT um, and I was, I, I came out of the closet, like, with my hands up, and he was, like, immediately, like, go, go over there and line up single file, and when I went towards the door, I saw on the floor a, a grown man, probably a teacher, and then when we were leaving the classroom, they were all telling us to run, not to look, just keep looking down, but there was a boy by the bathroom, a, two girls holding each other by, um, the girls' bathroom, and, uh, a boy kind of face up against the wall by the stairs with blood all over the wall and holes in him. I know, I know you're, she's shaking right now, so if I ask anything that's too much, you tell me, okay? But you mentioned that one of the people that you saw on the ground was one of your friends. I don't want you to say his name, but obviously this is so upsetting, not just to have gone through this, but to have seen that. Yes, it was very upsetting. We were making hearts together. He was in my class, and we were making hearts for his girlfriend and my boyfriend. And, and obviously you're still trying to, to find your dad. You've spoken to him. He knows you're safe. Do you have other friends that you haven't yet heard from? I mean, what's going through your mind right now? Right at the moment, it's like, was there any more shootings anywhere else? Was everybody okay? Are my friends okay? I don't have contact because my phone is dead. Um, I was so frightened, and I, I couldn't even get my phone to talk to my dad because my phone was vibrating in my pocket, but I was hanging on so hard. And then I, like, started to slip because I was my arms were getting so tired. And I was like, no, 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 this, this is real then I don't want to have my feet showing on the ground and it was so terrifying I thought it was fake at first I thought they were just trying to test us but when I came around the corner and I saw the middle <laughs> you saw a lot of blood it yeah. was blood everywhere. And, and and tell me tell me what the process was like because I know you said you saw an officer and you came out with your hands up outside of the closet but what was that process like before you were finally able to leave the school because um, I know you're shaken this this obviously happened a while ago and we we're still waiting to get and find your father what was that process like before you left the school it was like he was like saying look down look down everybody put your hands up and just keep like he's like I need you to run I need you to go and we were running down the stairs and I was trying not to slip there was blood all over the floor and it was terrifying and it was just so much adrenaline and before I looked like before I came out of the closet I turned and looked and there was like um, police cars and dogs and SWAT and everything and it was terrifying um, and obviously do you know where you're gonna meet your dad and you said your cell phone said, is dead he said but... right here on university okay. yeah. anything else that you want to say or that you saw or that you heard that you you want us to know about what happened obviously traumatizing for you yeah it was just a bunch of screaming saying help me um, uh, he was like screaming and I, I thought it was a joke I thought I thought must he must not be like because they told us that they were gonna have like fake you know and have people being taken away and like have them scream or whatever so I was like it like must a, be like fake. in a school drill like yeah, is that like a drill and um so I just figured it was that but it was like so real I could hear his voice he was very very like gasping now, I know you told me you didn't know the guy who was shooting and you hardly saw him, but of what you saw, can you tell me what you saw? You didn't know him? It was just a split. There was like two people run past and it was just black. I couldn't see anything. And the slit that I was looking through was so thin that it was just like, right, like one, two. Was he saying anything? Was he I screaming? I heard laughing. I heard laughing. Laughing? Right when they walked through the door and then I heard people run down the stairs and then, then that was it for a little while. And then it was just somebody screaming, help me.
And, and just so everybody knows, so this was in the freshman building. For yeah, those who aren't familiar with the school, floor, freshman it was building. third floor of the freshman building. Explain what the layout of the school is like. So there's more than one building. And it's just um, the freshman building is separate from the entire school. There's a, one floor which has one aisle and it has doors on all sides. And then another floor has an aisle and another floor has an aisle. I was on the top at the very end of the back. So the staircase was right by the door. Listen, I want you to go find your dad. If you need a cell phone number to call, let me know. All right, I know your phone is dead. We, we want to send it back to Michael. Yet another family being reunited. It's crazy, right? Well, we're going to get these stories out so people can make up their own minds. Just news stories. That's all. Just want to get it out.